Um, this is a continuation of the first part of this presentation, Behold the Lamb of God. Uh, we have seen that the title, the Lamb of God, is, is very much well known among the descendants of Abraham because Yahuwah provided a lamb to spare or pass over the life of Isaac. He provided a lamb that would be sacrificed to spare the families of Israelites in Egypt when he carried out the judge, his judgment. So we've also learned that there is a judgment coming upon the descendants of Israel because after it settling them in the land and gave them his laws and commandments to keep, Israelites abandoned Yahuwah and went and started serving the gods of other nations. And for this, the judgment of God, God promised that he will bring vengeance and judgment upon all descendants of Israel for their error. So, we have learned that before this judgment will arrive, Yahuwah promised that he will send his servant and that servant will clear up the way before he will come to execute this judgment. And that servant will become the sacrificial lamb that will help, that will be sacrificed in exchange for the life of many descendants of Israel. So let's continue with what is written, Behold the Lamb, the servant, the Lamb of God. Uh, in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 76 to 80, there is written concerning the Messiah, the Lamb of God. He said, But as for you, young child, you will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go ahead of Yahuwah to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation to his people by forgiveness of their sins. Because of the tender compassion of our God, with this compassion a daybreak will visit us from on high to give light to those sitting in darkness and death, and death's shadow and to guide your, our feet in the way of peace. And the young child grew up and became strong in spirit, and he continued in the desert until the day he showed himself openly to Israel. So concerning this young child, the Messiah, this Lamb of God, it is written that he will be called the prophet of the Most High because he will go ahead just like he was foretold in the book of Malachi. Yahuwah said he's going to send his servant that will go ahead of him to prepare the way before he will come and execute his judgment. So this young uh, Messiah, I mean the Lamb of God, will prepare the way for Yahuwah and he will give knowledge of salvation or way or a means for us to be saved out of this judgment. So this servant or the Lamb of God will give us knowledge about salvation because of the tender mercies of our God. He will show us the way we can escape or avoid this judgment that is coming, that Yahuwah will come to execute. So with this, the compassion a daybreak will visit us. That means we will be free from this con this judgment if we listen to the message or the declaration of this Lamb of God. Because he came to give light to those sitting in the darkness and in the shadow of death. Yes, all Israel are sitting in darkness, lack of understanding of what our God is doing. 
Only when we turn to Yahushua that we can gain light and understanding of what our God is doing with us. And we are like people sitting in the shadow of death waiting to be executed. But the Lamb of God came to give us light on what we need to do in order to escape this coming judgment. So this child continued in the desert as selected places until the day he showed himself to Israel. So when he showed himself openly to Israel, John the Baptist saw him and identified him to Israel. And that's why he told his disciples, this is the Lamb of God. In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 35 to 36, again, it's written, Again, the next day, John was standing with two of his disciples. And when he looked at Yahushua walking, he said, See the Lamb of God, the one that will be sacrificed so that many will be saved, many Israelites, descendants, we can be saved. He said this, see the Lamb of God. Yes, see the one that his life will be sacrificed to save many Israelites from the judgment of death, from the judgment that Yahuwah our God will execute when he return as he promised. Yes, he will sacrifice his life for the forgiveness of many Israelites who will exercise faith in him and in the message that he came to declare. For Israelites who are exercising faith in Yahuwah our God, those who will listen, those who, who knew where he came from, those who knew that he was sent by God, those who exercise in faith, those ones their sins will be pardoned. He, Yahushua, will become their sacrificial lamb. And God, because of the sacrifice of this one, will pass over the destruction of many Israelites. So, behold, the, la the servant, this lamb of God, whose life was given in exchange to redeem many or to save many Israelites when Yahuwah will carry out his judgment. <clears throat> what we are going to do is uh, consider the judgment as declared by the Lamb of God. Because the Lamb of God came also to not only to sacrifice his life, but he also came to bring to light to descendants of Israel the judgment of our God. The things our God said must be, must be carried out. Yes, Yahushua, the Lamb of God, came to declare to all Israel's descendants the judgment of our God who we abandoned. He came to make his decisions known to us. In the book of John, chapter 8, verse 12 to 16, there is written, Then Yahushua spoke again to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will by no means walk in darkness, but we possess the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You bear witness about yourself. Your witness is not true. In answer, Yahushua said to them, Even if I bear witness about myself, my witness is true, because I know where I came from and where I am going. So, but you do not know where I came from and where I am going. So you judge according to the flesh. I, I do not judge any man at all. 
And yet even if I do judge, my judgment is truthful, because I am not alone, but the Father who sent me is with me. So, yes, Yahushua came to declare the judgment of the Father, but many do not believe him. Many Israelites do not believe him. The Pharisees said that he is bearing what? A witness just about himself, so his witness is not true. So many do not put faith in, in, his, in what he, was, he came to declare. In the book of John chapter 8 verse 26 to 28 is written, Yahushua said this, I have many things to speak concerning you, the people of Israel, and to pass judgment on. As a matter of fact, the one who sent me is true, and the very thing I heard from him I am speaking in the world. So they did not grasp that he was talking to them about the Father. Then you, uh, Yahushua then said, After you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am, I am He, and that I do nothing of, of my own initiative. But just as the Father taught me, I speak these things. So, He said He came to pass the judgment of the Father. Now what he's telling us is what he heard from the Father, what he was sent to declare to us. But many do not want to believe that. Many didn't know that he was telling us of the things that the Father sent him to come and declare to us about the judgments that our God will carry out. So he told the people listening, he said, after you have lifted up the Son of Man, that is, after they have put the Son of Man to death, said, so then you will know that I am He, because this judgment will do what we follow. Yes, because, yes, Yahushua know that he, his, he came to sacrifice His life. So after you lifted up this life after you have lifted up the son of man that's after they have put sacrifice him then they will see that this judgment will follow just as he came to declare them yes many Israelites will die in their sins if they do not repent and believe him and believe in him the one sent ahead by our God. Many will die if they do not what believe that this one came from the Father to declare this judgment of our God that is coming. They will die in their sins for lack of faith. So the judgment as declared by the Lamb of God in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 31 to 33 there is written then he said then he took the twelve aside and said to them look <coughs> we are going up to Jerusalem and all the things written by means of the prophets about the son of man will be accomplished for instance, he will be handed over to men of the nations, and he will be mocked and treated insolently and spat on. And after scourging him, they will kill him. But on the, dead, on the third day, he will rise. So Yahushua told the twelve, his disciples, of the things that must take place concerning this judgment. So we are going to Jerusalem and the Son of Man will be handed over to the people of the nations and they will mock him and they will treat him insolently, spit on him, they will scourge him and then put him to death. But on the third day he is going to rise. So 
Yahushua is telling them the judgment decisions that God has made. That the Messiah, the, the Lamb of God, will do what? Sacrifice his own life in order to do what? To save many descendants of Israel. Those who will exercise faith. In the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 20 to 24, there is written, Yahuwah said this to those who will listen, those who paid attention to what he's telling, he was teaching them, what, what the light that he brought into to share with, the, with us from the Father. He said, however, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by encamped armies, say then know that the desolating of her has drawn near. So then let those in Judea flee, begin fleeing to the mountains. So let those in the midst of her leave. And let those in the countryside not enter into her. Because these are the days of meting out justice, in order that all the things written may be fulfilled. Say so woe to the pregnant woman and those nursing baby in those days. For there will be great distress on the, on the land and wrath against these people. And they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captives into all the nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled on by the nations until the appointed time of the nations are, are fulfilled. So, yes, he gave to those, the Lamb of God gave to those who will listen of what to know or to do and what how to know when the, this judgment will start or uh, the foretold judgment will start to be executed. <coughs> he said, when you see Jerusalem surrounded, know that the time for meting out this ju justice is at hand. So let those in Jer Jerusalem begin fleeing to the mountains. Because this day of just ju judgment is coming upon the nation of Israel and upon the descendants of Israel. So they will be led captives into all the nations. Uh, so woe to pregnant women, for this will be a terrible time. For Israelites will be led as slaves and scattered among all the nations. So Jerusalem will be trampled until the appointed time given to the nations are fulfilled. So yes, Yahushua, the Lamb of God, declared about this judgment that our God said is going to execute upon the nation of Israel. So yes, Yahuwah said, Yahushua said, all the things foretold by the prophets concerning the Messiah and concerning the people of Israel will be fulfilled to the letter. That is the declaration of the Lamb of God, because he came to give us light into what our God's judgment is. So all the things written about by the prophets will be executed to the last letter. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17 and 18, there is written, So do not be, do not think that I came to destroy the law and the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. So truly I say to you, that sooner would the heavens and the earth pass away than for one smallest letter of or one stroke of the le of a letter to pass away from the law until all things take place. So Yahushua is saying that everything written by the prophets concerning the people of Israel, the judgment will be executed, will be carried out. Nothing will be ignored or thrown aside. 
everything written will be executed in this judgment that is coming, that is upon the people of Israel. In the book of Luke chapter 16 verse 17 is written, Indeed, it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one stroke or a letter of the law to go unfulfilled. So he's saying that this judgment, everything written, will be carried out. Nothing will go unfulfilled. Yes, the judgment and the judgment and the extermination of all unrepentant Israel because of our ancestors' error will still be fulfilled each at the appointed time. It will not be thrown away or thrown aside. The judgment, the execution or extermination of all unrepentant sinners of Israel, those who are still serving the gods of the nations, this judgment is still coming. It will not be thrown aside. In the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 5, there is written, Yahuwah told our ancestors, gave us this uh, warning, he said, you must not bow down to them, nor be enticed to serve them, that's the false gods of the nations. Say, Yahuwah, you are, for I am Yahuwah, you are God. I am a God who requires exclusive devotion, bringing punishment for the errors of fathers upon sons, upon the third generation, and upon the fourth generation of those who hate me. So Yahuwah said, don't do this. If you do it, I'm going to bring punishment even up to the third generation, fourth generation of those who hate me, I'm going to bring this punishment. Our ancestors, they did not listen. They broke the covenant. And that is why God's judgment has continued to be upon the people, descendants of Israel. It was on the first generation. It was on the second generation. It was on the second, third generation. He said, do not do this. Do not bow down to these false gods. So, this judgment started with the death of the Messiah. And how long will this judgment last? Well, in the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1 to 2, it's written, Come and let us return to Yahuwah, for he has torn us to pieces. For he will heal us. He struck us, for he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day he will raise us up and we will live before him. Say, so let us return back to calling on Yahuwah our God and leave the gods of the nations alone. Let us return to seeking Yahuwah our God. Say, so he has torn us to pieces because we abandoned him. But he said he's going to strike us for two days. But on the third day he's going to raise us up and we will live before him. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8, it is written, Say, however, do not let this escape your notice, beloved ones, that one day is with Yahuwah as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So even though Yahuwah said he's going to punish us for two days, is going to be for 2,000 years. Yes, all Israel must be at two days or two equals to 2,000 years punishment and humiliation for our ancestors' error. 
the land of Israel will be trampled by the Gentile nations until the appointed 2,300 years is completed. Yes, until 2,300 years is completed. That's how long the land of Israel will be under trampling by the Gentile nations. For it is written in the book of Daniel, chapter 8, verse 13 to 14. It's written, And I heard a holy one speaking, and another holy one said to, to the one speaking, How long will the vision of the constant future and of the transgression causing desolation continue to make both the holy place and the army thing to trample on? So he said to me until 2,300 evening and morning, and the holy place will certainly be restored to its right condition. So the prophets, what was revealed to prophet Daniel is that the uh, transgression of Israel and the trampling of the holy place will continue for the period of 2,300 evening and morning. During this time Israel will be a punishment, a day for a year, that will give it 2,300 2, years. Is That's how long Israel will, bear, will be bearing punishment because of the errors of our ancestors. So that is the foretold punishment, judgment and punishment upon Israel. Israel will be in punishment for 2,000 years. Israel will be scattered among the nations, serving as slaves to other nations until this appointed time is fulfilled. Uh, at the end of this punishment time for the people of descendants of Israel, it is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 21 verse to 23. It's written, only a remnant will return, the remnant of Jacob, to the mighty God. For though your people, O Israel, are as the grain of the sand of the sea, only a remnant will return, and extermination has been decided on, and justice will engulf them. So yes, the extermination decided on by the Sovereign Lord Yahuwah will be carried out in all the entire land. So at the end of the 2,000 years punishment of all the descendants of Israel, an extermination will be carried out in, all, in the entire land. It says only a remnant will return back to the mighty God. The rest will be exterminated of the descendants of Israel. In the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10, is written, So they will die by the sword, all the sinners of my people. Those who are saying, The calamity will not come near us or reach us. So those who, refu who refuse to turn around, return to seeking Yahuwah and calling upon him for mercy. All those who are thinking that this Calamity will not come near them. Like those who did not listen to the, to the Lamb of God when he was telling Israel about the judgment of our God. So all those ones, will, these ones will do what? Will die by the sword. Who are thinking that, oh, this calamity will not happen. They were thinking like that in the first century. But the, the, the judgment came upon the nation of Israel. Yes, the judgment came. So all those who are thinking that Yahuwah will not carry out this judgment, you wait until the appointed time comes to an end. 
and see whether Yahuwah will not carry out the judgment of extermination that he has foretold. He said he first sent his servant to clear up the way. Yes, all the things written by the prophets will be carried out until the last letter is fulfilled. The extermination of all unrepentant descendants of Israel will be accomplished at the appointed time. For Yahuwah will carry out this judgment. Um, the Lamb of God also declared about the forgiveness and the restoration of the of a remnant of Israel as foretold by the prophets. In the book of Amos chapter the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 11 to 15 there it is written in that day in that day I will raise up the boat of David that has that is fallen I will repair his breaches and I will restore his ruins I will rebuild it as in the days of long ago so that they may take possession of what is remaining of Edom and all the nations on whom my name has been called, declares Yahuwah, who is doing this. Said, Look, the day are coming, declares Yahuwah, when the plowman will take over the, the harvesters, and the trader of grape, the one carrying seed, and the mountains will drip with sweet wine and all the hills will flow with it. I will gather back the captives of my people Israel, and they will rebuild the desolated cities and inhabit them. So they will plant vineyards and drink their, their wine, and make gardens and eat their fruits. I will plant them on their land, and they will never again be uprooted from their land that I have given to them, says Yahuwah, your God. So Yahuwah promised that he's going to do what? Show forgiveness and restore a remnant of Israel, by descendants of Israel back to their land that he gave to our, our forefathers. So he's going to do what? Again, raise up the boot of David that has that is fallen. He's going to repair his breaches, and he's going to restore his ruins, and he's going to re rebuild it as in the days of long ago. So Yahuwah promised to restore a chosen remnant of the people, descendants of Israel, back to their land, but that will be after. Israel completes their 2,000 years punishment among the nations. And that will be after Yahuwah has finished carrying out the extermination of the sinners of Israel. For Yahuwah said that all those who are thinking, saying that this will not, calamity will not get to them, they will all be exterminated among the nations before he will bring the chosen ones back to the land of Israel. And restore them again. So that is what the Lamb of God came to declare to the people of Israel, to those who will listen and exercise faith. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 8 to 10, there is written, This is what Yahuwah says. Just as when a new wine is found in a cluster of grape, and someone says, Do not destroy it, for there is something, some good in it. So, so I will do for the sake of my servants. I will not destroy them all. I will bring out of Jacob an offspring, and out of Judah the one to inherit my mountain. So my chosen ones will take possession of it. 
and my servants will reside there. So Sharon will become a pastor for sheep and the valley of Arco a resting place for cattle for my people who search for me. So Yahuwah promised that he's going to restore a remnant of his people, those who search for him, back to the land. He's not going to destroy or exterminate all the descendants of Israel because of our ancestors' errors. But descendants of Israel who search for him, Yahuwah said he's going to do what? Cause these ones to take possession of his holy mountain. That is the, what the Lamb of God declared to our people of the judgment of our God, his decisions. So there will be a forgiveness and restoration of a remnant of Israel as foretold by the prophets. In the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 6 and 7, there is written, So when they had assembled, the disciple asked him, Lord, are you restoring the kingdom to Israel at this time? He said to them, It does not belong to you to know the time or season when the Father, that the Father has placed in his own jurisdiction. So yes, the Lamb of God revealed that yes, Yahuwah will restore the kingdom back to Israel, to his chosen ones of Israel, the descendants of Israel. But they wanted to know when. But he told them it's not for them to know of what time that God will restore the people of Israel back to their promised land, to their kingdom. In the book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 17 to 18, there is written, this huge beast Four in number are four kings who will stand up from the earth, but the holy ones of the Supreme One will receive the kingdom, and they will possess the kingdom forever, yes, forever and ever. So the prophet Daniel was revealed to prophet Daniel that there will be four huge beasts that will stand up to rule the earth. But after these four beasts or kingdoms has ruled the earth, after they have finished, then the kingdom will be given back to who? The holy ones of the supreme one. The people of the Messiah will receive the kingdom. And they will possess the kingdom and rule forever and ever. So that is when you know, the kingdom will be restored back to Israel. That is when the kingdom will be restored back to Israel. That's what the disciples wanted to know when. In the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 32, there is written, Have no fear, little flock, for your father has approved to give you the kingdom. Yes, Israel is a little flock when, when they were called out to serve Yahuwah. Uh, Israel is the least or the smallest among the nations. But this little flock, Yahuwah said, God has decided to give the kingdom back to Israel. So have no fear. <coughs> In the book of Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 it is written, And you made them to be a kingdom and priest to our God, and they are to rule as king over the earth. So descendants of Israel will again be chosen to serve as kings and as priests to Yahuwah, the living God.
the Most High God. And there we rule as king over the earth. Yes, there we rule with the Messiah over the earth. Yes, all these things written must be fulfilled at their appointed time. And that is the declaration of the Messiah, the Lamb of God. That he came ahead before Yahuwah to tell the descendants of Israel of what our God's decisions are, what his judgments are concerning the people of Israel. The Messiah also declared, because he said that all the things written by the prophets must be carried out to their details, the prophets also revealed of a judgment that will also come upon all the nations of the earth. The judgment of our God that will come upon all the nations of the earth. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 31 to 35, there is written, For their rock is not like our rock. Even our enemies have understood this. So for their vine is from the vine of Sodom, and from the terraces of Gomorrah. For their grapes are grapes of poison. poison. So their cluster are bitter. So they, their wine is the venom of serpents, the cruel poison of cobra. So is this not stored up with me, sealed up in my storehouse? So vengeance is mine, a retribution at the appointed time when their food sleeps, for the day of their disaster is near, and water wears them will come quickly. Yes, the prophets foretold of a quick judgment that will also come on the peoples of the nations. So this also must be fulfilled before our God will restore Zion his kingdom back to Israel. So concerning the judgment and punishment of the other nations, it was foretold by the prophets. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 29 to 33, it is written, For look, I am, send, I am bringing calamity first on the city that bears my name. So should you go unpunished, so you will not go unpunished, you the people of the nations. For I am calling a sword against all the inhabitants of the earth, declares Yahuwah of armies. Say, so, and you are to prophesy all these words to them and say to them, From our high Yahuwah we roar, and from his dwelling place he will make his voice heard. So he will rule loudly against all, against his abiding place. So shouting like those treading the winepress. So he will sing triumphantly against all the inhabitants of the earth. So a noise will resound to the ends of the earth. For Yahuwah has a controversy with the nations. So he will personally pass judgment on all humans. And he will put the wicked to the sword, declares Yahuwah. So this is what Yahuwah of Ami says. So look, a calamity is spreading from nation to nation. And a great tempest will be unleashed from the remotest part of the earth. And those slain by Yahuwah in that day will be from one end of the earth clear to the other ends of the earth. So they will not be mourned, nor will they be gathered up or buried. So they will become like manure on the surface of the ground. So the day of Yahuwah's judgment is coming, not only for the people of Israel, extermination of the sinners of Israel, but also 
on all flesh. For he said the nations will not, the people of the nations will not do what? Go unpunished. But he will personally pass judgment on all flesh. So those put to death will be so many that will not be buried on that day when he execute when he comes to execute his judgment as if as foretold. So those put to death will become like manure to the surface. They will not be buried. Remember, the Lamb of God said that all the things written by the prophets, not one word will go, will be tossed aside, which are being fulfilled. So even this judgment of the nations is also scheduled. It's lined up and it will be carried out at this appointed time. It will be carried out at his appointed time towards the end of the 2000 years punishment upon the descendants of Israel this judgment will take place so the conclusion of all things as foretold by the prophets and the Lamb of God is this Israel descendants must bear a 2,000 years punishment among the nations because of our error. And that's why we've been scattered among the nations, being humiliated, going through the punishments as foretold by the prophets, or the things written by, by the prophets. Deuteronomy chapter 28. 15 to 68, all these causes, all these judgment decisions of our God must all take place, come upon the descendants of Israel for breaking the covenant we made with our God. All this must take place. And they will take place within the 2,000 years punishment time. At the end of the 2,000 years punishment time, an extermination, which is the final judgment of our God on all unrepentant sinners of Israel, will be carried out in the entire land. So the other nations will also face our God's judgment and punishment. For our God said to them, they will not do what? go and punish, but he will first bring judgment upon the people that bear his name, the city that bear his name. So, so during this final phase of Israel's 2,000 years punishment is when the judgment on the nations will also be carried out. And like Yahuwah said, their judgment will come quickly. Their judgment will not last like 2,000 years like the people of Israel, but their own judgment will come quickly, and quickly they will be annihilated. So after the final judgment on all flesh, Yahuwah will then restore Zion and his chosen people of Israel. He will establish his kingdom for his son to rule over the remaining ones of the earth, the remnant of all the people of the nation that will remain, and the remnant, chosen remnant of his people, descendants of Israel, Yahushua will rule, the Son of God, the Lamb of God, will rule over these ones. So yes, that is the Lamb of God and the declarations and the good news that he brought. And the light that he came to give to the peoples of the nations of what the true God is, decisions is. So now your goal is to find out the appointed times for these judgments, for these decisions. 
and keep yourself in expectation of them. For not one word will be tossed aside, but all the things written and spoken by the prophets concerning Israel, concerning the peoples of the nations, will surely take place at their appointed time. I thank you for listening to me up to this point. Um, hope that this brings uh, enlightening to you, enlightenment to you. I hope that you can be motivated to seek Yahuwah for your salvation. Until I come to you next time, if you like what you are hearing, Share this channel with others and help them to come to light of what is written in the scriptures. Help them to come to light to understand what is, what is coming. Let them, continue, let them come to really understand the Lamb of God that will take away the sin of the world. Again, share this channel with others until I come with you to you with another interesting uh, discussions. Remain blessed. Thank you.